Hey everyone, welcome back to Push Inside. Today I'm posting my first speed build. I've never posted one of these before, I love watching them, and um, if you saw uh, my last video, again, ignore my flowers. Anyway, I'm not basing this on any specific tattoo shop, uh, it's basically a mix, mash, uh, whatever remix of all the tattoo shops I've ever been in, which is several. And I started, this This all started with this wallpaper. It is the diner wallpaper. It's not for a tattoo shop at all, but it reminded me of the like cluttered wall, art everywhere style that I've seen in a lot of shops. So I couldn't figure out if I wanted the blue, the pink or the gray background at first, but I went with pink. and. I knew I wanted the main, like, front counter at the front, um, like a big, big counter, and the beige diner counter is one of my favorite items in the game. Um, the most frustrating thing about this, though, is that you can't scoot things right up next to each other, which everyone knows. Um, so yeah, I struggled with that a lot during this, and you'll see. I couldn't decide at first if I wanted to do one, like, a front room, and then do actual stations in a separate room. But I went with the main room, just divided by the counter type of situation. So, just two tattooers, I guess, in this shop, and they're in the back. Um, but it's an open air, you know, type of area. And I struggled a lot because my instinct is to not put a chair at the counter. But also, why not? <laughs> so I couldn't figure out which chair to put back there. And these simple panels were another reason why I really wanted to do this build. Um, I found the flash sheet looking one and the other two against the wall that look, um, they have like the ink bottles and um, I think there's a printer and like the squirt bottle. And I, wanted, I knew I wanted to use those and the flash on the wall, and I needed, we always have to have a full length mirror somewhere so everyone can check out a stencil and then check out the tattoo when it's done. Um, I added more of my favorite seating. I like the, the diner benches and the box sofas. Um, I figured it made sense to have a magazine on the table. Crab table is one of my favorite tables. And also the Karopi hallway is I thought was perfect for this um, because it's a seat with a divider. Um, behind the divider, I have the they're the two cartoonist sets, but they remind me of light tables for tracing and making designs. So that's what those are for. Next, I went to the walls and I just have like some fake art, um, some of my favorite clocks, and then I grabbed a few posters of like Cherry, Sid, and Kyle. Um, not to just be stereotypical, but they just seemed like the ones that could maybe be on the wall of the tattoo studio. I don't know. Um, it's not uncommon to have a small TV that you could like see from the counter that you can watch if no one's there. Um, I used the jukebox for the music. And yeah, so I kind of struggled a minute to figure out where to put what on the walls. This, this is a key rack that makes sense over there. And I needed, I decided I needed the desk to be L-shaped because I'm going to do eventually a like parking lot situation off that side, off that room, it's going to look like a little parking lot. Um, so I needed a, a desk over there and I still couldn't figure out which one. Um, I started figuring out how to divide this right here with like the utility sink, but it, you couldn't see the simple panels very well, so that's just frustrating. So I went looking again for something um, to break this off and divide here better. And a, a locker is not an unreasonable storage, but I deleted that as well. <laughs> I made so many changes during this build. I knew I wanted the Rover briefcase also because it could look like, uh, like a machine case and we needed a painting set at the front desk because if there's only one person working in the shop for that day, maybe they're working on painting while they're waiting for walk-ins or something. Who knows? Um, so, yeah, the walls gave me some trouble. The briefcase I eventually put in the back. 
I know that my uh, carts are two different colors, a red and a pink, but that's that's just realistic. Everything's not going to match in a tattoo stop, shop. So I was trying to keep it real. The um, overall feel was there, but I still wasn't completely satisfied. I couldn't quite figure out what was missing or what I wanted to change exactly. Um, but in general, I was pretty happy. Then I remembered the floor was, <laughs> I, hadn't, I hadn't done anything to the floor. And I struggled because I know that tattoo shops are about cleanliness. And so a tile floor with lots of little crevices is not ideal. It's not easy to clean. Um, but then I realized I may be just be like, being a little too picky. Uh, so I ran to Nooks to see what they had for sale. Um, because this is my second account, obviously. It's not my main account, it's my second house. So I don't have everything. Um, but yeah, I saw they had the same piano bench that I had in there. So I figured I'd buy a second one. So maybe they could match after all. And the flooring, I thought, I found the right option. I thought this was smooth, monochromatic um, tile, but I was actually kind of wrong. Uh, let me run through the chaos of the scenery here. <laughs> so, when I put the flooring down, that's when I realized it's carpet, <laughs> which is even worse. Horrible idea for a tattoo studio. So I realized I was going to have to suck it up and go with tile. And this one, I think, is, is the best. Um, it pulls out the gray from the posters on the wall and the Kuropi uh, seat and everything. And so I'm satisfied. I like the build. I like what it looks like. I'm, I'm loving it. My kid came to visit. So <laughs> thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.